Hello friends, today I have with me a video on Pluto. Pluto is a dwarf planet in the Kuiper belt, a ring of bodies beyond the orbit of Neptune. It was the first and the largest Kuiper belt object to be discovered. After Pluto was discovered in 1930, it was declared to be the ninth planet from the Sun. Beginning in the 1990s, its status as a planet was questioned following the discovery of several objects of similar size in the Kuiper belt and the scattered disk, including the dwarf planet Eris. Pluto is the ninth largest and tenth most massive known object directly orbiting the Sun. It is the largest known trans-Neptunian object by volume but is less massive than Eris. Like other Kuiper belt objects, Pluto is primarily made of ice and rock and is relatively small. One-sixth the mass of the Moon and one-third its volume. Light from Earth takes 5.5 hours to reach Pluto at its average distance of 39.5 astronomical units. Pluto's moons are hypothesized to have been formed by a collision between Pluto and a similar-sized body early in the history of the solar system. This collision released material that consolidated into the moons around Pluto. Pluto has five known moons. Charon, the largest with a diameter just over half that of Pluto, Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra. Pluto and Charon are sometimes considered a binary system because the barycenter of their orbits does not lie within either body. In September 2016, astronomers announced that the reddish-brown cap of the North Pole of Charon is composed of tholins, organic macromolecules that may be ingredients for the emergence of life, and produced from methane, nitrogen, and other gases released from the atmosphere of Pluto and transferred 19,000 km, that is 12,000 miles, to the orbiting moon. The plains on Pluto's surface are composed of more than 98% nitrogen ice with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. Nitrogen and carbon monoxide are most abundant on the anti-Charon face of Pluto, whereas methane is most abundant near 300 degrees east. The mountains are made of water ice. Pluto's surface is quite varied with large differences in both brightness and color. Pluto is one of the most contrastive bodies in the solar system with as much contrast as Saturn's moon Aeptus. The color varies from charcoal black to dark orange and white. Pluto's color is more similar to that of Io, with slightly more orange and significantly less red than Mars. Notable geographical features include Tombo Regio or the Hut, a large bright area on the opposite side Charon, Cthulhu Macula or the Whale, a large dark area on the trailing hemisphere, and the Brass Knuckles, a series of equatorial dark areas on the leading hemisphere. On July 14, 2015, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft made its historic flight through the Pluto system, providing the first close-up images of Pluto and its moons, and collecting other data that has transformed our understanding of these mysterious worlds on the solar system's outer frontier. In the years since that groundbreaking flyby, nearly every conjecture about Pluto possibly being an inert ball of ice has been thrown out of the window or flipped on its head. So now let's answer the most important question. Why is Pluto not a planet? According to new rules adopted by the International Astronomical Union, a celestial body must meet the following criteria in order to classify as a planet. First, a planet must be round. Second, a planet must orbit the Sun. Third, a planet must have cleared the neighborhood of its orbit. This means that as a planet travels, its gravity sweeps and clears the space around it. Some of the objects may crash into the planet, others may become moons. Pluto follows the first two rules, it is round and it orbits the Sun. It does not, however, follow the third rule. It has not yet cleared the neighborhood of its orbit in space. Because it does not follow this rule, Pluto is no longer considered a planet. So now let's talk about some of the interesting facts about Pluto. First, Pluto is about 2380 kilometers wide. That's about half the width of the United States or two-thirds the width of Earth's moon. Second, Pluto orbits the Sun about 3.6 billion miles, that is about 5.8 billion kilometers away, on an average about 40 times as far as Earth. Third, a year on Pluto is 248 Earth years, a day on Pluto lasts 153 hours or about 6 Earth days. Fourth, Pluto is officially classified as a dwarf planet. Fifth, Pluto has a thin atmosphere of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. The atmosphere has a blue tint and distinct layers of haze. Sixth, 
Pluto has five moons. The largest, Charon, is so big that Pluto and Charon orbit each other like a double planet. Seventh, Pluto has no ring system. Eighth, the only spacecraft to visit Pluto is NASA's New Horizons, which passed close by in July 2015. Ninth, Pluto's surface is far too cold, minus 378 to minus 396 degrees Fahrenheit, that is minus 228 to minus 238 degrees Celsius, to sustain life as we know it. And tenth, Venetia Burney, just 11 years old at the time, suggested the name Pluto in 1930. Link of other space-related videos is in the description box below.